Hi, I'm Mrs Evans. I'm Head of Psychology, Health and Criminology here at North Bromsgrove Sixth Form. I'm here with some Year 13 health students, so I'm just going to ask them some questions about why they chose health and social care. Megan, why did you choose to study health? Um, because in the future I'd like to go into a career with primary teaching, so I thought doing health and social care would be a good idea, so then I can do like placements as well as doing exam units to like further my knowledge for that. Alice? Um, I want to go into career and occupational therapy, so again I thought that the, the, um, the things that we learn will really help me in um, lots of different sort of settings that I could go to in the future. Naisha, what have you enjoyed learning about? Um, well, since I want to go into physiotherapy and you said I start, like my skills can be to my functions during like, quarantine, I found that like really interesting and it links to what I also do in biology, so it's like perfect for what I want to do. So Naisha studies human biology as well as health and social care, so it's a really good combination, particularly for her to go on to her future career. And whilst they were working independently during lockdown, they worked on malfunctions um, within all, the, all of the body systems. Jess, what do you enjoy about health? Um, I really like the way that the, the teachers teach us. Um, we are taught with certain learning styles that suit us best. So I, in particular, work best with diagrams. Um, so drawing out all the images makes me understand much better. And we've, we're very flexible in health that we can either use the materials that I provide or we can summarise them in a different way. And if you look at the array of materials here, you can see everyone's taken their own style to it. There's a lot of use of colour, there's mind maps, there's structured notes and structured diagrams. Some people choose to do their own diagrams and other people like to use the diagrams that I provide. So where are we going with our health qualification, girls? Where do you want it to take you, Jess? Um, I'd like to go to university to do psychology and health and social care will really help me with that. Megan? Um, I'd like to go to university to do primary teaching as a degree. Um, I'm also going to you to do um, physiotherapy. Um, I'm taking a gap year first to work in a care home and then go on to university. So year on year in health, we find that students go on to what we call professional studies degrees, so occupational therapy, physiotherapy, teaching, midwifery, nursing, the list goes on, but year on year we have a number of students who do that. We also have a number of students who don't go on to professional studies, but they find that the way that we learn in health and social care is really beneficial to their university studies with independent research, report writing, because there is a coursework element to it, and they have to produce that independently, and all of those skills really support support them um, in higher education. I just want to tell you a little bit about the two courses that we offer in health and social care. The first course we offer is the Cambridge Technical Extended Certificate at Level 3. This is worth one A-level and that's equivalent in terms of UCAS tariff points. Um, it's a combination of exams and coursework. It's 60% exams and there will be exams at every opportunity. By that I mean January of Year 12, May of Year 12 and January of Year 13. And it's a combination of exams and coursework. And you can see on the website the types of units that we will study. We're also going to be offering a diploma, so the Cambridge Technical Diploma Level 3 in Health and Social Care. That will be equivalent to two A-levels, and you would then choose one other A-level alongside this qualification. Again, it carries the UCAS points of two A-levels um, and can take you on to apprenticeships, degree-level apprenticeships, and lots of different careers in health and social care. The diploma would be useful for people who have a career goal in mind, maybe nursing, mental health nursing, early years practitioner, physiotherapy, and the list goes on. And it might be something that you opt for because you know you want a career in health and social care. Whereas the extended certificate, which is worth one A-level, just combines really nice with a, with a number of other subjects and balances out that exam load that you may have in year 13. And like I said, both of them are equivalent to either one or two A-levels respectively. I'd love to hear from you if this is something that interests you more or if you'd like to find out more about it. Feel free to email me and the address is on the prospectus which is on the website or come and find me in school if that's easier for you. Come and join us in health.